Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a handstand warm up. This is going to be a full body warm up. It's going to take around 10 minutes and it's going to cover every aspect that you need to warm up for your handstand so that you don't get injured and you have a great handstand session. So we're going to start off by warming up the wrists. We're going to do some wrist rotations to the left. And to the right. And we're going to warm up those forearms by extending our arms and doing some flicking. So we're going to do fast flicking, 20 flicks, as fast as you can. Six, seven, eight. Good. Shake it off. Nice. When I come onto the ground, I'm going to do some forward extensions on the wrist. Two more. One, two. I'm going to turn the wrist around. We're going to go ten the opposite direction. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We're now going to go onto the back of our wrists. We're going to do some side to side. <clears throat> and we're just trying to get blood flow to the wrist. The wrist is a very delicate joint. It's small, takes a lot of weight through the handstand. We're just going to do some exploration through, I've gone this way now, exploration through each of those, each of those positions, nice, good, we're going to do another one onto the fingertips, so just onto the fingers here, mine are going to click, yours might, might not, about 10, coming up just onto the fingertips, just to warm up through the hands there. Good. We're gonna interlace our fingers and we're gonna do some wrist rotations. Opposite way. Good. Interlace opposite fingers. Might feel a bit weird. It's a bit of a brain game. And the opposite direction. Nice, we're gonna shake that off. Good. All right, we're gonna come into a plank now. So a nice tucked plank. Focus on keeping the core nice and rounded through here. And we're gonna do some side to side in the plank position. Side to side, come forward, come back, forward, back, side, 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 side. We're gonna come up onto our fingertips and onto our fingertips onto our fingertips onto our fingertips we're going to practice on one arm here, up here, up here, up and this is just getting our scapula working make sure you keep the protraction both sides one more one two three four Good. All right. The next thing we need to warm up here as well is we need to warm up our hamstrings as well as our shoulders, of course. But our hamstrings are super important when we kick up because they need to be at a certain amount of open to actually kick up into a clean handstand. Um, if you're not opening your hamstrings in the, in the kick up, your, your kick up is going to be a little bit bent and we want to really work towards some other skills like the press to handstand as well. So let's do some focus on opening those hamstrings. So what we're going to do, I'm going to start by standing up, we're going to put our hands on our thighs very comfortably and we're going to come down into a deep squat and open through the hamstring. So as we do this, we're going to slowly become more and more open, and as we become more and more open, we're going to slide 
our hands down our legs. So we get a nice stretch on the hamstring here. Yeah? Good. One, two, hat's gonna fall off. Three, one more. Four, good. Slowly coming back up. All right, we're now gonna do a little bit of shoulder warm up, okay? And to do this, we're gonna go through our yoga sequence. So for those of you familiar with yoga, we're gonna go through a down dog to an up dog. And this is gonna give us a little bit of spine um, movement as well, which is really important through the handstand. So we're gonna start in our plank position here. Again, and this time we're going to push back, try and keep the hamstring straight into our down dog. We can pedal out a little bit here. Focus on keeping the core tucked in. So we're stretching through the shoulders, round, forward, come into a half push up, and then transition to our up dog. From here, just relax a little bit. Try and get that pelvis to the floor as best you can. I'm just going to do a little bit of twisting here. Just to get some movement laterally in the spine. Don't often get that. Coming back up slowly into our down dog. There we go, one more time. Round. Chaturanga to our up dog. Some rotations. Good. All right. One more shoulder shoulder opening exercise we're going to do. We're going to come down into a comfortable child's pose. And from here, we're going to lift forward where our legs are kind of in a 90 degree position. We're going to extend the fingers out as far as we can in front of us, just on the fingers. And from here, what we're going to do is we're going to look up through our hands. We're going to tuck our ribs in. So ribs, we're going to try and bring the shoulders back, ribs in and flatten the back and then try and push down into your fingertips and look forward. And you should feel a nice bit of stretch in that middle thoracic spine. We're gonna try and do a little bit of dynamic movement here, not much. We just want a little bit of dynamic movement through here. Get some extra blood flow in there. Good. Rolling up. Fan. Fantastic. Next up in our warm up is going to be some play. So if your wrists feel warm enough, fantastic. If they still feel like they need more warm up, then I would suggest repeating the wrist extension movements that we were doing on the ground until you feel warm enough, okay? If you have some sort of wrist injury. Otherwise, we're gonna move on to some play. So what we're gonna do first for our warm up is we're going to just play with putting weight over the hands. So with this, we're going to jump into a tuck or a straddle, okay? So this is gonna be just a comfort position. It shouldn't be hard, it shouldn't be extren extraneous. It needs to be a nice, comfortable bounce. And you don't have to hold the handstand. It's just about putting weight over the hands. Okay, so we're just going for a nice little jump. You can jump into a straddle. Or you can come into your tuck. Nice. Good. So you should be feeling a little bit 
warmer now, okay? And we're just gonna do a couple of stretches through the thoracic to get some twist. So, right knee over left leg, right elbow onto the left knee, twist, switch sides, okay? It's dynamic. All right. Nice. Cool. So I hope that helped you warm up for your handstands. Very, very simple, very basic, guys. So guys, I hope this helped you warm up for your handstands. It's a very simple way of warming up, but it works, it's effective, and the aim is really to get that opening in the shoulders as well as in the hamstrings and activating your wrists. So I hope you enjoyed this, guys. If you did, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.